Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Ashley. It is late. It's 4 in the morning-ish. Um, I worked from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. today. It was alright. I was supposed to be, like, verified, which is part of my, like, training to become a manager, basically. And, yeah, the restaurant manager wasn't there, so I didn't even get my verification then today. But... I did get a burn on my hand. It doesn't, you can't really tell as well on the camera. There is like a blister there though, just a little one. It's not like a bad burn, but it actually, uh, it does hurt. Pretty much every time I get near the grill at work, I fucking like burn myself. It's pretty much guaranteed. There was this, so like this summer I was working in a different province at McDonald's and, um, this one manager and I, we got along, like, all summer, pretty much. Like, for, like, the whole four months I was there, we got along, except for the last week. Like, the last week, for some reason, he fucking just decided he hated me, and, like, he would always ask me to do bullshit stuff. And, like, I would talk back to him. I'm like, no, like, I'm not doing stupid shit. Like, one day, he was like, hey, yeah, Ashley, I'm gonna need you to go and lobby. I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. He's like, yeah, can you stay there for the next two hours? I'm like, no, sorry. He's like, excuse me? I'm like, I will happily go check lobby and clean it for you, but I'm not going to stay in lobby for two hours. He's like, why? I'm like, why don't you ask someone who's been working here for two weeks to go in lobby for two hours? Like, not me. Like, I'm literally more useful anywhere else. Like, sorry. And he just fucking walked away. But that same manager, um, he was like, one day he's like, Ashley, I need you to go on grill for an hour to cover some breaks. I'm like, honestly, like, I'm sorry, but I, I can't. And he's like, why? I'm like, well, apart from being slow, like, I burn myself pretty much every time I get near a grill. Like, honestly, I don't feel safe being on grill for that long. I'm going to burn myself, like, period. I'm going to burn myself. And that was, like, right after, like, you can't really see the scar anymore, but I had, like, a really, really bad burn on my hand, like, bad enough that I got workers' comp for it. And, uh, I'm like, you know, if I burn the spot that I just burned again, like, I'm fucked. Like, it's going to hurt beyond bad. Like, it's going to be so painful. He's like... Well, if you had a medical condition, you should have told me. I'm like, it's not a medical condition. I'm a fucking klutz. Like, what do you mean? Ugh. Fucking ridiculous. I'm off for the next two days. I'm so excited. Like, I can't wait. Like, so when I was younger, like, I fucking never wanted to go to sleep. And, like, even, like, growing up now, I procrastinate sleeping. But I like sleeping now. I used to, like not like sleeping. I like I would always just want to be awake. I didn't want to go to bed ever. And like now the only reason I stay awake is cuz I'm distracted, not because like I don't like sleep. Like I I get so excited to just fucking be able to sleep and do nothing. It's so nice. So the next two days are pretty much going to be me cleaning my room, um doing some more of my McDonald's booklet and sleeping. That's about it. And Photoshop. I want to do some Photoshop too. I photoshopped something today that I want to put on Tumblr, but, like, I can't because I'm at my fucking post limit, and it's ridiculous. Like, to be honest, I don't know when that resets or, like, how it works. It's just randomly, like, sorry, you couldn't post that. Like, you are fucking reach your post limit, bitch. Like, fuck you. So, uh, I posted on Twitter today. I was like, uh, where are the party at? I'll bring the hummus because I was, you know, eating some hummus. This is my favorite hummus. I, as you can see, I fucking, like ate it all. This wasn't full today, by the way. Like, I I didn't eat all of it, but I did finish it because it's so good with the multigrain Tostitos. I fucking love hummus. But anyway, I posted that on Twitter and one of my uh, Twitch Counter-Strike friends, he replied, he's like, oh, the party's here, and he linked this website called Mixler. I'm like, what the fuck is a Mixler? Like, I've never heard of it. And I get someone that um, my friend is friends with, he was... It's basically like a site where you like broadcast a DJ set, like there's no video or anything, it's just you're broadcasting sound. And uh, yeah, it was really awesome and he was playing a lot of like vaporwave music and I was so into it. And like, I know who this is because I've seen him on my friend's stream before, but I've never actually like talked to him or anything and I'm like, why didn't you actually like introduce us if like, we're obviously hella fucking friendship compatible, we like all the same things, apparently. But yeah, I'll link the the uh, his page on Mixler in the the description. It is like a really cool site, especially if you make music. Like that would be some something awesome for sure to like broadcast on. 
Because it's not even just like uploading like a, a set that you've mixed, it's like live. So I think that's fucking awesome. And there's like a chat and everything. There's lots of different functions. I mean, I just have seen the site for the first time today, but it looks really cool. I feel like it could be a really good thing if it gets more popular. I mean, for all I know, it is popular and I've just never heard of it until now, but yeah, it seems pretty cool to me. All right, I'm gonna read the, the Weed Daily calendar for today. It says Tuesday, February 9th. Apparently it's Mardi Gras, I did not know that. And now I'm not gonna take my top off, so you'll give me some beads. Even though, oh, sorry, I didn't read the title. You can get a cannabis spa treatment. Even though marijuana oils won't get you high just by rubbing them on your skin, a number of massage parlors in Colorado now offer marijuana massages to help customers relax. During their sessions, massage therapists apply THC-laced topical oils and creams, which they claim help soothe muscle pain and relieve tension. I don't know, never tried it, but I mean, why not, you know? Interesting fact about me, I am extremely ticklish, like extremely fucking ticklish. Even if like, like if someone's holding my hand and they're like, you know, being all cutesy and like, you know, rubbing my hand, that fucking like, if if they're too, rubbing my hand too lightly, like it tickles and I hate it. Like even like little touches like on my arm fucking tickles me. It makes me feel itchy and like uncomfortable and like just ticklish and I hate it. Like I've never gotten a professional massage before just because I fucking know they would tickle me and I would hate it. Like they would either hurt me or tickle me. Like there's no in between. I'm just a weak ass ticklish ass, ass bitch basically. Like some of my ex-boyfriends have like offered me massages and it's just like, no, that's okay. Like I'm really not interested. And it's like, no matter how tense I am, like, I'd rather just not have a massage because, like, I'm just too ticklish and I hate being tickled. Pretty much every guy that I've ever dated, I have made it explicitly clear, do not ever tickle me. I do not think it's cute. I do not think it's funny. It's not playful. I fucking hate it. And if you do it, I'm going to literally punch you in the face. Like, don't touch me. Don't tickle me. Like, bye. I fu oh, tickling to me is, like, the worst thing ever. There was this time in grade five when this bitch she was sitting behind me on like the carpet so the carpet is like everyone goes and sits there when the teacher's like reading a book or something you go and you sit on the carpet like that's what you do and this bitch behind me on the carpet she kept fucking like poking my side like just to fucking like tickle me and like I was giggling and the teacher was like hey Ashley like be quiet and I'm like well fucking this bitch like not literally I'm just like sorry but um and then she poked me again and I fucking like whip my arm back and I elbowed her, like, directly in the nose, and her nose started bleeding, and I got in trouble for it. Like, I used to do shit all the time. Like, I was a total asshole in elementary school, but, like, I never got in trouble. The one time that I got in trouble, it was for something that, like, wasn't even my fault. Like, this bitch fucking kept tickling me. Like, she deserved to get elbowed in the face, you know? Like, she deserved that bloody nose. Huh. And, like, not to mention, like, every teacher I had in elementary school was awesome and super nice, except for that teacher, like, that grade 5 teacher. She was just a fucking nightmare. Like, everyone in the school hated her. And we were the last class to, like, ever have her. I remember going into grade six and there was no, uh, like, the grade five teacher I had wasn't there anymore. And I'm just like, like, everyone in my class was just like, fuck, like, we got the worst teacher ever, like, for her last year. Like, ugh. The only cool thing about that teacher is we did, like, hella art projects. Like, I have hella fucking art from grade five. But, uh, other than that, like, she was awful. I hated her. Anyway, guys, I think that's it for the vlog today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.